This video describes how to create a custom report in QQ Catalyst. Specifically, we will build a report of all customers in your agency who have personal auto policies that will expire within the next 90 days. To start, click on Reports in the Global Navigation bar and then click on Add New Report in the toolbar. The guided workflow for reports appears on the page. The first page in this guided workflow is Report Category. To begin, choose the type of contacts you want to use in this report. Customers, carriers, MGAs, or employees. As you click on each selection in the report category, notice that the data sources change. Since this will be a report about customers, we will select the customer category for our scenario. Second, click to select the data sources you will need for your report. For our example, we are going to need both the customer information and policy information data sources. Click Next and go to the Report Columns page where you select the columns of data for your report. Notice that all the available data columns here come from the customer information and policy information data sources as these are the two data sources we selected in the previous step. For this report, we are going to need the customer first name and last name. Using the search as you type box, type in the word name. As you type, all the columns that have the word name in them appear below. When you select customer first name and customer last name, Catalyst loads these columns of data into the report preview to the right. Now let's add in a few more columns, such as expiration date, writing carrier, MGA, line of business, base premium, and policy premium. We now have eight columns of data. Use the scroll bar to view all the columns in the report preview. If you don't like how the columns are placed, you can move the columns by dragging and dropping them where you want it to be. I want the last name to be the first column, so I am dragging it to the first position. Click Next to go to the Refine Report page. When you are refining a report, you are applying filters to the data you've already included on the report columns page. For instance, we included the line of business data column in our report. However, we only want to have customers that have personal auto policies appear in our report. That is an example of a filter. Let's see how we use filters. Click on Add Filters. Then click on the drop-down list on the left and select Line of Business. Leave the middle selection as In List. Then type P in the search box and select Personal Auto. This filter tells Catalyst that the only line of business to be included in this report is Personal Auto. We need to set up one more filter because we want policies that will expire within a specific time frame, the next 90 days. Click on Add Another Filter and then select the Expiration Date column. Let's use the filter Is Between because we want the expired policies within the date range. We could put specific dates in here, but this is a report that we plan to use over and over again. In this case, it's much better to just click on Ask at Runtime. This means that whenever we are ready to run this auto policy expiration report, we will be able to enter the date range we need. Now we will click on Next to go to the Organize Report page. This part of the guided workflow is for grouping and sorting your report data. We want to sort the data by writing carrier and then by MGA. Click on the Group By drop-down list and select Writing Carrier and then click on Add Another Group and select and then by MGA Broker. Notice the grouping in the report preview. We want to see the policies that will expire the soonest, so we'll sort by expiration date and then by customer last name. It is a good idea to experiment with grouping and sorting. You can see how your report will look in the report preview window. Click Next to go to the Calculate Data page. 
we want to include subtotals and grand totals for the policy premium and base premium columns for all policies that are about to expire. Select policy premium from the drop down list and then select sum. This will give you a grand total for that column. Also select base premium and select sum. Notice that QQ Catalyst shows you the calculation with subtotals and grand totals in the preview page. Click next to go to the report preview page. On this page you can take another look at the report preview. If you want to make any changes you will need to return to one of the earlier steps in the guided workflow. Once you are satisfied with the report preview give the report a name, a description, and define the type of report. The type of report you choose will affect where you will find it in your agency library of customer reports. Also choose how you want the report to be formatted, either portrait or landscape. If your agency has more than one location, select the location that you will permit to access this report. You must select at least one location. Then click Save to save your report. Now that your report has been saved, it will be available from the Agency Report Library. As we select the customer for our report type, click on Customer in the Agency Library and the report is listed. You will only be able to see reports that are assigned to your location. When you click on the report, there are several choices. You can delete, edit, or run the report. We're going to run our report now. A pop-up window appears from which you must select to export to either a spreadsheet or a PDF. Exporting to a spreadsheet will create a .csv file that you can open with any spreadsheet program. For now, we will select to export to a PDF. You may want the data to come from one, some, or all of the locations when you run this report. If you have more than one location, select all the locations from which you want to pull the data. If you have permission to see only your assigned customers, customers assigned to others will not appear in the report. When we created the personal auto expiration report, we specified that we would choose the range of dates at runtime. Now that we want to run the report, we are at runtime. Enter the dates you need and select Run. A PDF of the report appears in your browser on a different tab. You can print it or save it using your browser. Here is what you have just seen in this video on creating custom reports. How to select the columns of data. How to refine the data. How to group and sort the data how to add calculated fields, and how to save and run your report.